I don't know if I mentioned when we met hours ago that when I'm not pretending I'm a homeless crackhead, I do television and film, I'm also a federal contractor. When you guys get IDs turned into you, what do you do with them? What kind of an ID? Like, state ID. State ID? Yeah. I mean, you know, try to mail it back to the owner. Okay, because I get handed this shit all the time. I turn it into the State Department, but um, somebody walked up and handed me this. I don't know if he lost in the park today. I mean, honestly, I would, here, if you want to take it, I mean, I would throw it in the mailbox and they'll, they usually just send it back. Well, I turn it over to the State Department because if it's part of any identity theft, they want to know about it. But if you guys wanted to, I know who gave it to me. Um, who, do you know who gave it to you? Yeah. Yeah, people walk up and hand me all kinds of weird shit. Uh-huh. Um, if you look at the ASAP video, the kid who came up with homeless with on, like, the gray or brown brown uh, pants, dark shirt, and was kind of weaving back and forth, and I gave him five dollars so he could go get some food. If you could look at that video about an hour ago, he was the one who walked up and said he found it in the park. He finds these all the time. So. I mean, honestly, what we would end up doing yep. is mailing it back to the guy. Well, and that's good. It would be like, some of your guys would also sell sell it back to the black yeah, market. I mean, that does happen, too, in the white yeah. state department. Yeah. Now, we... We would end up doing because what we would do is we would my, we book it. My impression the thing is, if we book it at yep. property, yep, yep, they yep. end up. Well, no, yeah, they I do because it's an ID. Yep. They'll end up mailing it back to right. that address. Um, yeah. I want to commit. So, you're from Rampart. Are you from Rampart? Yeah. You're a dude from Rampart. I've been yeah. coming here since '83 when I first came out here to do a show from Chicago with Johnny Carson. And uh, last night was the calmest I've seen it here since '83. Really? Dude, That's good. I felt. <laughs> I didn't feel threatened. Uh-huh. Any jackass wanted to fuck with me. I felt like it was no, not the normal jackass. But today, coming out of uh, 99 cent store, there's a new kid in town. He's in his 40s, white, kind of a homeless, trashy motherfucker. Uh, we had a cart, and I asked him to please move because I have a groin hernia and I have a fractured hip when I'm 60, and I'm cranky when you get in my way. And instead, he socked me in the face. Now, I didn't fucking put him in a body bag, but when he threatened to kill me the next time he sees me, uh, he's in his 40s. He kind of looks like a, a Bork uh, from uh, Bork, uh, the movies, uh, yeah, Mickey, Mickey Bork type, lighter weight. Uh, late dinners, early 40s. I've never seen this motherfucker before, and I've been here for, you know, two centuries, five decades counting. A lot of fucking time. He punched me in the face and threatened to kill me if you ever see him again. If you do see him again, I'm going to obviously have to defend me because I take that as a terrorist threat. Right. You might want to take a look at why this guy has pushing shopping carts and blocking the entire thing in front of the 99 cent store and punching people in the face. What time is this about six. Oh, okay, about this time. Uh, no, no, no. So it was about six. It was probably, I have the receipt probably three, four in the afternoon when I was buying some bunch of cords and trying to get out of here and stay here a little longer because I was deciding if I wanted to go drop kick his ass or talk to you guys about it. And I did the right thing. I talked to you. I didn't go seek him out and Edgar McCain him about, you know, old timers who've been here a long time don't tolerate this fucking horse shit. It's kind of like going on Venice Beach and thinking you're El Chapo and taking over. Carliners aren't going to be digging that shit very much anymore than the suicidals. Who runs this shit down here? The 13th Street or suicidals? What bitches are down here? I don't even know. I'm not from this crazy writers. Is this a new one? Crazy writers? Different number of years. Are they MAs? I don't know. Just know you know the four crazy. deadliest per the State Department and, and U.S. Marshals? MAs, Mexican Army, Pegasus. Black Panthers and Hell's Angels. Those motherfuckers, when they're pissed, don't give a shit. They will see it to the end. But those are also the guys who might be just going to get some of the shit that's going on. But I mean, there's some crazy shit going on. But you guys have really cleaned it up a lot. I want to check it. Thank you. What precinct do you go to? Harvard. Harvard? Yeah, San Pedro. Ooh, that's tough. Has its own weird beast. <laughs> well, you got a lot of sex traffic going through there, whether you realize yeah, or not. Coming out of Santa Monica. Santa Monica, guys, oh, is a, a real cancer right now. Yeah. I don't know where, if you're aware how bad it is. But if you're like Google My Name and SMPD or Snitches, Bitches, Witches with SMPD, you'll find time for like, Hi, I'm Big Rob. Your mommy's looking for you. My mom spent 10, 20 years, click. 
Hello, I'm being robbed. The doctor says you're off your meds. You should go and get on your meds quick. And they never come to investigate while I'm being robbed or other times where they threw me in psych wards which was out in 15 hours when they called the state department to find out I'm real and could look up the internet. Um, there's some goofy shit going on in Santa Monica that makes you guys look like heroes. One thing I think you should all fix, think about it, if you can get it up to the, the flagpole, you're on old windows, you're hackable, and if I steal it in your precinct and take it to your precinct, it doesn't show up to the property. Nothing's there. Right. That's kind of fucked up. Think about it. Who's yeah. thought? I can help fix that. Right. Be blessed, gentlemen. Good job today. That's honest conversation. That's what I do. You just heard it. You saw it. I have to turn it over or to do what I normally do with these things. And obviously they're letting me handle my things my way because they see I'm not just going off at assholes in the park, but I'm giving who's up next on the deck if they fuck with Uncle Kurt. So everybody's been forewarned. They had a clear description of this jackass.